Well, hello, Scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. What do we got up on the bench today? Well, we have a box. A box from a fellow named Everett out in California. And he contacted me a while ago and said basically something like, Hey, Mike, I know you're really busy and said you weren't interested in doing any more toll refining. But I got a problem and I hope you can help me with. Uh, Everett says he has a literal crap ton, actually two literal crap tons, of different IC chips, fully gold-plated ceramic IC chips of two different types. Two different types. He's got a bunch of both types. And he wants to sell them to a refiner out there in California. But he's afraid he's getting um, cheated a little bit by the refiner. So he was wondering if he could send me some samples of both kinds of chips... And if I could process them, if I could tell him the yield I get, that might make him feel better about what uh, the refiner's paying him or not. Maybe he'll decide that the refiner is cheating him. So I said, oh, okay, I can do it. It might take me a while, though, because I'm really busy with stuff for Johnny uh, and my own projects. But, yeah, send me that stuff, and I'll work it into my schedule, okay? Um so this box arrived quickly, and Everett said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pack the box with other stuff. I'll send you 16 of each of the two types of chips, and I'm going to pack the box with other stuff to make this whole process worth your while, and you can keep whatever gold and silver you get out of the chips. I just want to know what the yield is. I'm like, okay, that sounds like a pretty good deal. I will definitely work this into my schedule. Thanks a lot, Everett. So the box arrived. I've already had a peek in it, but uh, we're going to unpack it and show you uh, what we've got here. So, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Ram sticks, some ceramic IC chips. These are not the ones he wants me to test, by the way. I think this is all part of the making it worth my while, you know, additional stuff he's included. Everett's kind of a... Everett's not really set up to do the refining himself, he says. So, uh, he's got to either send it to a refiner or send it to somebody like me. This looks like some optical interface cards for, yeah, Cisco switches. Okay. We got some, like, uh, Wi-Fi modules from laptops or something here. Ah, uh, there's, there's an NVIDIA video card minus the gold uh, fingers. I don't blame you for taking them off, Everett. Ah, uh, some more ceramic IC chips. Okay. Ram sticks. Actually, I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a ram stick. It's probably, I don't know, maybe a non-volatile ram. I don't know. Uh, another one of those optical things. Some more ram sticks. Oh, there's a lid off of a ceramic chip. I wonder if it came from one of the ones he wants me to test. Set that aside just in case. So this is all the incentive stuff he's sending me here. To, to, to make it worth my while, worth make it worth my time and chemicals to uh, test his stuff. Wow, that is a... Ooh, that's an old, old Xeon chip there. It's got feet on it. Wow. That's an old, old Xeon. Probably a collector's item. Oh, and here's a... Looks like a Pentium 2 slot processor. The heat sink and case removed. What else have we got in here? Oh, wow. Look at that gold plating on that. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of gold plating. I hope that's showing up. Wow. This is all just the incentive to get me to do the job. We haven't even got to the job yet. So, okay. Let's see what's in here. So, I assume, Everett, that these are the two types of chips you want me to test. Like I, I, I peeked in here, but I have not looked at these chips yet. So, let's see what we have here. Uh, he said there were some TRW chips. Yeah. So, yeah, these are, you know, TRW hasn't been around for a while. Just looking for a date code. 1991. 06 of 91. So, yeah. So, these are TRW chips. And he's going to send me 16 of each kind. So, I assume there's 16 of something else in here. Ah, Yes. We got some uh, Motorola. 
the Motorola chips, digital signal processors, DSP5601. Oh, look at that gold on that. All right, let me zoom in on these a little bit. These are some uh, good-looking chips here. So anyway, Everett asked if I could uh, come up with a yield for each type of chip. So don't don't process them all together. He wants to know what the yield on these is versus the yield on these versus what the refiner tells him it's going to be. So, yeah, Everett, I can, I can work this in. Let's see what the date code on these is. 94. 1994. So they're pretty old chips. But, uh, yeah. So doesn't look like this actually came from one of these. So we'll just throw that in with the general pile of stuff over there. So, uh, yeah, Everett, uh, when I get a chance, I will, uh, I will do these. I'll crush them up and extract whatever precious metals are in them. We might get some silver as well as the gold. That would be a nice bonus. And uh, I'll let you know what the yield is on each type of chip. Um, I might have some slack time because some of Johnny's projects have to sit and soak in nitric acid for a long time or, or AP solution and uh, leaves me you know, twiddling my thumbs a little bit. So I could maybe sneak in a project like this now and then. So, yeah. So I will let you know, Everett, once I uh, get around to doing this. I did tell you, I did warn you in the email, though, it might be a while before I get around to it. So you guys subscribe to see uh, this project in the future. When I do this for Everett, I think you'll find it interesting. And then, of course, in future projects, all this stuff's going to get processed, too. So, yeah, definitely subscribe to see those future videos. I think you'll find them interesting. And, uh, hey, if you guys found this video at all interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.